Hello and welcome back to Double O Debbie, and this is episode three of my Direwolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. <laughs> and we're back here today in our underground base, and we're gonna do some stuff. Uh, so let me tell you what I have in store. <laughs> um, I was thinking, I have have this really cool AE2 network and it's super cool and awesome. Let's see if my drive is ready. It is. I made a couple more of these drives uh, because the top two are start. The top one is almost completely full of types and the second one is starting to spill over. It's halfway full. So I figured I'd throw a couple more drives in there. Uh, but in case you haven't noticed, <laughs> in my inventory, there is some peer-to-peer -peer tunnels. And these are... These are very, very powerful tools for the ME network. Uh, the channels are very limiting and this helps to sort of alleviate some of that limitation um i guess is what i'm trying to say you can put this so like uh let's just get an extra controller controller we got one yes <laughs> uh let's go ahead and get like so we can power it and make sure that it's like working and stuff. Uh, so let's just come over here. Uh, actually, I could probably just use one of these right here to demonstrate. So um, each each little base of your ME controller is uh, where you get your channels from. Uh, now, if you're using the smart cables, uh, each face is limited to eight channels per side. But if you're using the dense cable, there's my dense cable, it's underneath. Um, if you're using the dense cable, you can get 32 channels <laughs> uh, per side. Uh, so that is way better than eight. Um, so why wouldn't you want to do that? Uh, so there is a way that you can use without using dense cable to transfer all 32 channels down like a regular cable, a regular smart cable. Uh, so, <laughs> um, it's, it's pretty cool. So you could put, uh, your peer-to-peer -peer tunnel on there and whoop, put it over here, put some line down there, and then I don't know exactly how you link these guys together. They're actually offline. Um, device offline. Um, it's getting power. You can't even interact with it. Um, is there like an AE2 manual? Uh, I don't remember seeing one like in the book. Uh, let's see. Thermal, Tinkers, Sushi, Simple Planes, Reborn Storage, Nomadic Craft, Nature's Aura, Modular Routers, Laser I O, Industrial Foregoing. I can't really see these books because they're underneath, but I can hover over them and see them. Cooking for blockheads, peripherals, stream reactors, Lexica Botania, 
Okay, so does not appear that uh, <laughs> AE2 has, um, yeah, a, a thing, um, a book. So that would be really freaking nice, you know, to be able to uh, read something without going onto the internet uh, to learn about the mod. Um, so, I wonder why you have to specify whether it's, I thought it would just, uh, transfer the channels. Um, more than likely, I would be using it to transport items. So, I think what you have to do here... is uh, use something that transfers items like this uh, logistical transporter doodad. I think if you just slap this on there, nope, maybe shift click. Maybe this isn't uh, the items. How do you, let's see. Uh, that's supposed to be, maybe I, if I use one of my flux cables. No, oh, it just attached it. <laughs> uh, no, that just attached it. So I don't know. I don't know why it isn't getting powered. Um, that applied. Is there like a block I'm missing? Um, I don't. Is it the memory card? so that it you can like link them together uh oh dude i made i made the little uh network tool maybe i could network details it really doesn't have anything to move Uh, maybe if I let's let's do this. You come back? Yes, you do. Let's go try to put it on uh, these guys. Let's see if if it gets powered. It says device offline. Okay. So I know it's it's, it's not that. Okay, so let's do, I guess, uh, let's try one of those memory cards and see, see if that is what the issue is. Um, a memory card? Or this could possibly be for the biometrics card uh, and completely unrelated. Oh, a color applicator might be coming in handy too. Also, if we want to get into um, like our refined storage does this so much easier, but um, I don't like the way uh, Applied Energistic does it because it's a little bit more, I don't know, it's a little bit harder to set up, but it's the, it's like quantum, let's see. A quantum ring 
in a quantum link chamber, right? These guys, if you want to do something like uh, the network transmitter and receiver, uh, That, that I have with refined storage, you can do it, but you have to use these quantum leak chambers and a quantum ring um, in order to get this. It's not just like one block and then you make this block and you go and bang, you have it. You have to make a multi-block structure and you have to keep it powered. You have to link them together using quantum singularity, <laughs> quantum entangled singularity, um, which is pretty cool. And whenever you make a quantum entangled singularity, you get two. So you got to use those two and you put each one in one of uh, your two multi-block structures and it links them together. And then that creates your network connection. Uh, which which is really super cool. Um, it's kind of a lot easier to just do an ender chest. <laughs> but these are super cool, and I'd like to be able to get into that as well. So we'll have to start thinking about quantum singularities, um, which is a singularity. Uh, a singularity is made in the matter condenser. You can just send a bunch of cobble to it. You got to have a 64K ME storage at minimum. It looks like you can put a 256K in there. I don't know what that does for it. Uh, if it does anything different, but you put it into singularity mode. And after you get however many this requires to fill it up, you get a singularity <laughs> and then you can uh, blow it up with, uh, I think it's, uh, here it tells you to create, drop one singularity and one ender dust and cause an explosion within range of the ice. And then you get your quantum entangled singularity. So uh, we need to get like a, uh, matter condenser right there <laughs> uh so that would be kind of cool uh i had some of these set up in my ocean block so let's just teach it real quick how to do that uh, so that i will remember <laughs> next time i i'm not 100 percent certain uh let's try one of those memory cards uh, yeah, I can't spell memory card. It looks like you can have one for all the different colors. Oh, that would be a little bit easier to keep track of, I guess. And you can change the colors. Um, there we go. I guess you have to maybe link them. Woo! Uh, before you can activate them. I'm not even certain. It's been a while. Uh, I played with AE2. I didn't. I didn't even remember. All I remember is um, just pain. <laughs> pain. So let's try. Where's my memory card? Let's. Um, valid machine okay so this is not working uh, every card is four though um all right hang on just a second okay so i supplied this with power through an energy acceptor and look, it's online. <laughs> uh, so I couldn't find anything else online that said 
uh, that this requires power, uh, but as you can see, um, this peer-to-peer -peer tunnel is uh, basically holding 32 channels, uh, but if you like take this guy off of here, it's only taking up one channel on this regular smart cable. So you don't have to run dense cable all throughout your base. You can use the, uh, the smart cable and peer-to-peer -peer tunnels and, and move your channels over longer distances without uh, doing the big ouchie of the dense cables. So uh, you're supposed to use this memory card to link. Uh, right click. It says invalid machine still. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if this is actually, it says it's unlinked. Uh, but I don't remember anything about the memory cards. Um, and it's, it's like, uh, it says it on the, uh, curse forge wiki for applied to applied energistics Two. <laughs> it has the only information it has on P P2P tunnels is the different types and what uh, items you need to click on the peer-to-peer -peer tunnels to change them to different uh, types of peer-to-peer -peer tunnel. Uh, like this one is just an ME peer-to-peer -peer tunnel. Uh, basically all it will do is transfer channels. Uh, which is really super cool, but you can also uh, transfer items through it by changing it to um, an item peer to peer tunnel. Uh, so, like you have the A, the ME peer to peer tunnel, then you have a redstone, an item, a fluid, an energy, a light or chemical, and there's even a mana here to pick up. And you make these by clicking various things on them. <laughs> I was trying to click the cape, the, the Fluix cable is actually what you do. I guess if you create like an item peer-to-peer -peer tunnel, and then you decide you want the ME peer-to-peer -peer tunnel back, you just click a cable on it, and it says like different types. Any you can use smart cable, you can use dense cable, or you can even use like the regular, <laughs> the regular old uh, glass cable from ME2. Uh, you no, know, <laughs> the the fluid ME glass cable will even work. Um, and there are uh, so like I think the item peer-to-peer -peer tunnel one requires that you put like an item <laughs> uh an item duct of some type so i thought like if you put uh ultimate logistical transporters it would do it but let me let me just check real quick okay i got the list of because honestly if i was going to use this, I would probably use an item peer-to-peer -peer tunnel uh, before uh, anything else. So in order to change it to an item peer-to-peer -peer tunnel, uh, you could use a trap chest, an ME interface, an import bus, an export bus, a hopper chest, or a storage bus to turn it into the item. <laughs> but honestly, I would really just want to use it over, uh, you know, for the channels, uh, because that would save me so much 
from having to not run dense cable everywhere. Uh, <laughs> it would immensely, even with just the little bit I have uh, of this dense cable, I mean, if I were to just replace this stuff right here with a peer-to-peer -peer tunnel, which you can have multiple outputs of the peer-to-peer -peer tunnel, uh, but only one input. So I could uh, change this right here. Let's go ahead and do that because I want to see how this works. Oh, and let me, let me go ahead and get my guy over here. Get it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. So, got all the stuff and things. Let's get our little boy here and see if we can do some of this stuff. But I don't know if it's going to work because I can't link it. Um, So, like, we're supposed to have the memory card. I wonder if it has to be on the face. Uh, maybe we'll change it. Oh. Uh, okay, so let's just do this. And we'll plop them down here and see if we can get to the base. Invalid machine. Memory card cleared. It says, okay, hang on. It says, uh, To configure an ME peer-to-peer -peer tunnel, you must first attune the tunnel to carry what you want it to, see below, which is what I want is the ME peer-to-peer -peer tunnel. So then you need to configure the outputs to their input. You configure the connections by using the memory card. First, shift right-click the input to save it on your memory card. Then simply right click the different outputs to store the input onto the outputs. This is also, this also sets the type of output to match the type of the input. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, first, shift right click the input to save it on your memory card. Shift right click. And it, all it's doing is clearing it. Um, I wonder if that could be some type of keybind issue. Maybe it's um, doing two different things. So, key, uh, shift, right click, oh. shift, reset measure, take measurement. Um, Details, nope. I don't know. Okay, let's look for category applied. Uh oh. Uh, there's no, there's no, uh, configurable hotkey or the memory card. This toggle magnet card. And toggle restock. So I don't, I don't know. 
is this like a bug um <laughs> it just says invalid machine or it clears the memory card it's not actually linking them um oh oh okay so uh, i just got an idea something that might like one thing i wasn't taking into account was that uh, you need to have a channel <laughs> for the tunnel uh, so, like, you need, let me get some anchors. So we don't connect. All right, because uh, I would like to just see if this is going to do the thing. All right. So now it should be powered. <laughs> That's why it wasn't getting powered because it doesn't uh, connect directly. Okay, so that's good. I don't have to supply it power. I just have to supply it a channel and and there's its what. <laughs> I'm still uh, I'm still confused on how it's supposed to link together. And, and create a peer-to-peer -peer network. Uh, so, I mean, it's online. Can I put a dense cable here and then get 32 channels? Um, how could I do this easily? So, Let's just uh, place down like some of those and get, I just want to see if it's using the channels, uh, if I can get more than eight <laughs> and it still works. So I don't know, let's do like a, give me import bus, right? Uh, let's just get like, 20 of those. I'm sure I will use them up <laughs> eventually. You know what I mean? Okay, so let me uh, get this back over here so I can see. All right, we have we have enough to have more than eight, and that's what I want. Okay, it's not um, do I need to connect the cable to you and then like run stuff off of it. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, it's like it's not pulling any channels at all. Um, what it might be is this might not be transferring power maybe so let's um let's just oh that's right i, I can't <laughs> i keep forgetting you can't directly connect power to it so let's just put it right there let's see if giving it some power ah you can see the channels coming off of it over here uh, but none of them on the main line so I'm not sure exactly what that means. <laughs> um, let's see. So that gets like all eight. Well, now it gets all eight. There we go. Uh, So the question is, I know that's as much as that line can carry, <laughs> but can I do it again?
Uh, it is. Ah, look. Look, it actually showed up that it's got a channel. Hmm. But only one. Only one. Do I have? Yes, I have some more. Uh, this is, I don't know if this is bugged. Um, so it looks like this one is not pulling all eight channels. So only one, well, maybe two, but this, yeah, this one and this one, but not any of these others. So that's, oh, and look, it, it took two of these offline. So yeah, it's only pulling eight, eight, um, eight channels. So I imagine that that is completely because of the fact that I cannot link these two parts together. Uh, so, <laughs> if you know the trick, how to get these channels to, or the peer-to-peer -to -peer tunnels to link together, like, let me know, because <laughs> it's not working uh, like it says it should. Uh, it will not uh, accept these as a valid sheet. Now I wonder, will it accept if I turn it into an item peer-to-peer -peer tunnel? It's not, it's not what I want, uh, but it, it might be useful, you know? Let's make uh, another two peer-to-peer -to -peer tunnel. How can I be missing? Oh, am I, am I like screwing everything up with this? Uh... Oh, I, I, uh, I accidentally attached this guy unknowingly. Let's put him down here. Yes. Did that change anything? Um, no, none of them are connected now. So I was only getting the eight channels because I was accidentally connected to this guy. So now I'm getting zero channels. I should be getting power Uh, but, like I said, I think this is not working properly because I can't link the tunnels together. Uh, so, let's try to make an item tunnel. Um, we have some ME interfaces right there, or inter import buses. There we go. So, let's, did I, oh, I was out of crystals, that's right. Messed my channels up. And there we go. Now let's see if this works like it's supposed to. Um, let's put them right here. Uh, now I should be able to do the import bus. Oh, look, it changed it. That worked and it did not consume an import bus. So that's really super cool. Now, now that it's an import bus, can I link you? No. Okay, so it, it's it's not just that particular type of peer-to-peer -peer tunnel. It is all types, or at least these two types. Uh, so I was really hoping uh, that I could, like, expand my, <laughs> uh, now I should be able to change this back as well into a regular peer-to-peer -peer tunnel. 
uh, by clicking on it with some more smart table. There we go. <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, so <laughs> unfortunately, I cannot save myself from using all of the dense cable uh, because the peer-to-peer tiles -peer do not appear to be working. <laughs> Uh, so sad face, very, very sad face, but that is according to the wiki, how you're supposed to set this up. Uh, so snickerdoodles, I was hoping to do that today. Um, I guess I can just go over some of the automations that I have <laughs> been up to. I did a little bit of decorating. I changed uh, some of my just black cobble deep slate blocks into aluminum blocks because I have so much of it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. And it looks, it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of like a factory-ish block. I was that was kind of what I was going for, but um, they don't have the mod in in it that actually does all the different factory blocks. I think that was some type of chisel um, chisel mod. Like I think it's like it's not chiseled in bits, just regular chisel would would add it i think that's what added it in like crash landing i don't know what they're adding those blocks to like nowadays <laughs> but anyway um i already showed you the charcoal um, which was pretty super simple I just made an ultimate smelting factory and put some charcoal in there. And I set this guy up. Okay, so <laughs> I set this recipe up that if I want plastic, I send a bucket to this inventory. And it sends a bucket in here. This gets filled up with molten plastic and ships it out into the heat frame. Mm -hmm which turns it into plastic. <laughs> uh, well, the, the plastic heats. Um, and then the uh, interface, the, I mean, the import bus pulls out any plastic sheets and empty buckets. So problem solved, plastic for days. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and this just imports all the molten plastic into the fluid encapsulator so that was pretty easy and I had plenty of channels over here because um, well I have two uh, well, I, have, I think this shows how many channels you're using not how many channels you have left I think yeah 21 and then here should have five So I'm using a total of 25 channels on both sides. Like I'm only using four channels over here. I set up um, the three air compressors with the, uh, <laughs> the pressure gauge tube module and the module expansion card so that it will shut off automatically when it's over four bars. <laughs> so hurrah, and they all have the uh, security upgrade. So if it does accidentally go up to five, um, it'll just kind of shut off uh, and bit some air. Um, I added some of uh, the capacitor transistor and the empty PCB recipes to the uh, pressure chamber over here. 
I hooked this little guy up uh, to to make uh, the advanced pressure tubes and the unassembled PCB. <laughs> so, uh, and then I also added the recipe for the finished PCB in, in here. Uh, you can see, I, <laughs> I don't like this because this is using the laser node now instead of the chest. Uh, I mean, I only use the laser node to pull, put things into the pattern provider, not to take out. So the one for the pressure chamber that I named, <laughs> the chest pressure chamber, just for this reason, it's not using the chest anymore. It's using the laser node. Uh, but, you know, I can tell by the recipes that are in there, which which machine it's going into so that that kind of helps um yeah there's the oh it's picking up the fluid encapsulator uh that's pretty cool because i think that i don't have a node putting back into that hmm Um, I also added the, yeah, uh, Marshall expansion cards. And there's my finished PCB pattern. Uh, so cool, cool beans. <laughs> um, one, another thing we can do is that if I want to get into the quantum entanglement, I'm going to have to make that, uh, matter condenser and get something feeding into it because it could take a long time just to get a singularity for it uh so let's go ahead and make that and i will set that up in between episodes and just get like uh i don't know some type of cobble gin uh feeding into it to create all the stuff and things. So I'm really sad that I did not get to play with the peer-to-peer -to -peer tunnels today. That <laughs> uh, was uh, really what I was hoping to do. Uh, but I did get to play around with it and learn about it. So that is super cool. Um, I do have some ideas about instead of you know, running all the cable to distant systems, I could use um, the ender chest and I could also use these, uh, the entangled blocks to connect my systems together. Uh, so that should help too, uh, because I've got, uh, <laughs> I've got, I was really wanting to upgrade this whole system with more more channels everywhere with the peer-to-peer -peer just the whole the whole building filled with channels so so packed tight you can't even move <laughs> um, but yeah uh, I dream big and um, anyway <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cry a little and try to do some more uh, research to figure out why my peer-to-peer -peer tunnels are not working and see if that's some type of bug uh, and, and how to fix it. Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Okay, uh, I just looked this up and immediately found the solution. Uh, I my problem was I had my shield in my off hand. So it was like right clicking the shield instead. And I came down here uh, and I shift right click this and it said copied current device configuration to memory card. <laughs> so I can play around with this now and completely redo this whole thing like I had planned. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> so sorry.